Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to yet another video of Tech Wafer. Hopefully you are having a great day. Adil here, your host. And as usual, I'm here with an exciting video. And this time we are going to cover the pedal search plugin that is recently launched by Huawei for devices that doesn't carry the Google Mobile Services port to download apps and games that are not even available on Huawei's app gallery. So if you own a device like Huawei's Nova 7i or other devices that doesn't carry the Google Mobile Services port, this video is specially for you. So without further ado, let's watch how you can easily download apps and games on HMS enabled devices. Here we go. Okay guys, so we are here and now starting off with the downloading of Petal Search first before proceeding to the downloading other apps through that. Uh, let me show you a demo how you can download the Petal Search through Huawei's app gallery. Starting off with the tapping on the Huawei's app gallery. Once you search Petal, you'll have an option to click on that and press the install button to install it. I have already installed it earlier, so I have an option to open it. So I'll open it and once it's done, before proceeding to downloading any app, I want to show you three scenarios. Starting off with scenario number one, which is basically downloading an app from their official site. And that includes downloading Facebook and WhatsApp and some other apps. So I'm going to show you a demo of how exactly you can download Facebook from official site through pedal search. You just have to tap on search button and then search for the Facebook. And it is going to show you a link to official website that you can click on. And once it's open, you have an option to click on the download button to start the downloading process and the downloading will start immediately. And once the downloading is finished, you will have an option to press the install button to install it directly. And here I would like to mention that this method works for both the GMS enabled Huawei mobiles and non-GMS smartphones that have HMS Huawei mobile services instead. One cool thing about the pedal search is once the downloading is completed, it will redirect you back to the pedal search and install the app that you've just downloaded. And once you tap on the install button, the app will immediately start installing and it won't take too long. It will just take a few seconds and there we go. The Facebook is already installed. Let's tap on the open button. And now you just have to enter your login credentials to log in into your Facebook account and use this app. Now comes the scenario number two, which is basically downloading an app that is already available on app gallery through pedal search. And for this scenario, I think we should download the Snapchat. As you can see, it will suggest you to download this app through app gallery. And there's also a verified badge beneath that. You just have to click on the app and then press the install button. And installing an app through Huawei's app gallery is quite similar to installing an app through Google Play Store. You just have to tap on the install button and the rest will be done automatically. Your app will be downloaded and then installed. Once it is installed, you will be notified through the notification icon at the top. And another amazing thing about downloading an app from app gallery is that once you go back after pressing the install button, you will be represented with a fluid animation at your home screen with app being downloaded. So I think it's an interesting concept and Google should also follow this because it provides a nice and elegant user experience. As you can see the Snapchat is being downloaded and it's done. Once an app is downloaded you can simply press the open button and start using it immediately. And now comes the third and the most important scenario which is basically downloading an app that's not available on app gallery or on official website as well and for such scenarios pedal search has integration of third-party websites that provides apks that you can download and install into your smartphone some of the popular services they are collaborating with includes appetoid and apk pure these are widely used services from millions of users around the globe and for third scenario, 
it would be best that we should download a game instead of an app and I think Clash of Clans would be the best pick here. And once you enter the name of the app of the game that you are looking forward to download and hit the search button, the pedal search will immediately show you the results like APK Pure or Findora. You can download from any sources because all of the apps that are suggested here are thoroughly checked and verified by the team. So let's download the Clash of Clans and we just have to tap on the install button and the link will open in an in-app browser and the downloading will immediately start. You just have to tap on the download button and wait for it to complete the downloading. Once it is downloaded, you will be given an option to install that particular game or app that you couldn't find on App Gallery or also on official website. So this was the third scenario. You just have to simply click on the install button once it is downloaded to install it and start using it. Once the app is downloaded, you'll have to tap on the allow button and then press the install button to install it into your smartphone. The process won't take long and the app will be immediately installed. And the app of the game will run like any other smartphone. Now before running up this whole process, I would like to mention an app that can improve your experience with HMS enabled devices that do not have Google mobile services and that's YouTube Vanced. It is basically a third party app that will provide native YouTube experience just in case you do not like the experience of YouTube in browser. It's a good app that you can utilize to get a native YouTube experience on your smartphone. Let me show you how you can get that. Starting off with the downloading, you'll have to search YouTube in your paddle search widget and then tap on the YouTube advanced icon. They will have multiple options, but I'll recommend you to download Micro G 64 bit and YouTube advanced 64 bit. Period. Just in case you do not want to log in into your account and get the personalized experience on YouTube advanced, you do not have to download the micro G because it is required just in case you want to log in into your YouTube account to like a video, comment on that and also dislike and perform other interactions that you would normally perform on YouTube app. But in this case, I'm going to explain how you can log in into your YouTube best and get the personalized experience. And for that, you need to go into the settings and then into apps and then click on the apps again and then search for micro and there it is you just have to tap on the advanced micro g services and go into the settings and then disable the google device registration and also make sure that the google cloud messaging is also set to off and once you ensure the both process are disabled you just have to click on the account and then sign in. Now you will simply have to log in into your Google account. I've already did that and as you can see I can pretty much do everything that I would normally be able to do on a YouTube app like liking a video, disliking, sharing, downloading or anything like that. That was an honorary mention because I thought most of the people these days wouldn't live without YouTube and they would normally open it for learning, for entertainment and for a lot of other purposes and to appreciate that effort, a sub would be amazing. And now moving on to the roundup of this video, the pedal search is a widget or a app that would allow you to download any Android app that's available out there and I think that I've mentioned almost everything. If I missed something, you can let me know that in the comment section down below. If you like my effort creating this video, a like, share and comment would be highly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to like this video, share it with your friends and family and also subscribe to Tech Wafer for more content like this. See you in the next one. Peace out.